What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a cloudy day, so I'll start with that. One cloudy day. And then I'll draw the canal. My two blue pens, like this. And my boat is just here. So I'll put this picture of it on the book to show the place. And now I'll be on my way. It's a bit chilly this morning. I'll get my life jacket on. That'll keep me warm. I've got my stoves lit on the boat today to keep it warm inside. The only trouble is, I've run out of coal to keep them burning. So I'll have to get some more somewhere, won't I? Now, my book says that just along here, there's an old coal mine you can visit deep underground. Well, that should be good for a story. And I might be able to buy some coal as well. So I'll get the engine started and on my way. down. My boat's making smoke to keep me warm from the fire. And the factory's up there. They're smoking. That's smoking where all the people are working, making things. And there's a bit of smoke from the engine of my boat as well. where they used to get coal from under the ground. There's a huge bucket here and they filled it with coal under the ground and then they pulled it up with this long, long wire that goes right up over a huge wheel. And that's how they got the coal up from under the ground. When it came to the top, they put it in little carriages that run on these rails to bring it out to where they had to sell it. But I'm going to go now and look on the ground to see how they dug the coal out. What did you say? Where are we going? We're going under the ground. Hello, I'm John. Hello, my name's Andy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You know, I'd really love to see the mine underground. Is that possible? Yes, certainly. You're going to need a helmet, John. I hope you don't want big enough for my big head. I think just the best. Right. We don't need to bang your head. No, that wouldn't do at all. One for myself. And you will also need a lamp. Uh -huh. So that you can see in the dark. Thank you. Off we go. What did he say? Oh yeah, hats so I don't bang me head. Yeah, hats and the lights on so I can see in the dark. Which way is it, Daddy? This way. This way. Which way? This way. Right, this is where we start. 
going on the ground, is it? It is. Mind your head. It's a little bit low here, John. It is, isn't it? My goodness. We're going to go down, down passageways yeah. until we come to the pole. This is just rock we're in at the moment. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, what is coal, really? Coal is a special kind of rock that's very deep under the ground. Ah, that's why you've got to have these deep tunnels to get to it. That's right, and it's a special kind of rock that burns. Yeah, ah, it's magic. Oh, Rosie, we're going down deep, deep, deep into a magic place. Oh, I don't like it. It's getting dark and it's getting stuffy. <laughs>
lots of ideas for my stories now. But first, I'll stoke the stove up. Get it really warm. Oh, it's never cold in the hot. What is it going to? I'm sure I filled it up. If I make a mess, bring it in. Have a look at those ends, Jim. They've got cold dust all over their faces. I don't know. Never mind. And now I'm going to write in my book the story all about Rosie and Jim and what they would have got up to if they could have come to life today. One cloudy day, Rosie and Jim came to a funny place. I know she said, coal mine. What's that? said Jim. I don't know, Miss Pot said Rosie. Let's go and find out. They went into a tunnel under the ground. I feel like a rabbit, said Jim. Have I got furry ears? <laughs> no, noggin, said Rosie. But you have a mucky face. <laughs> said Rosie. And black, said Jim. It'll keep you warm on a frosty night. <laughs> Never, said Jim. But they took it anyway. Then it was time to go home for tea. And when the black stone was safely in the stove, little fire demons came and danced on it. And it made the boat lovely and warm. That was it was like, said Rosie. Magic, said Jim.